So the spot we want to get to is no trespassing. Look at that fish. Pierce to the year award goes to. <laughs> <laughs> we got him as brown trout fish monkey neck gator. <laughs> yeah. Just to make it official. I, I wish. Oh, I think I might wear this today. We're up at Monticello and we're going to try to catch some smallmouth. Um, they're really big up here. I haven't gotten any that I could set, call a five pounder, but lots of three to fours and just constant action. And there's also nice walleye mixed in and really big channel cat up to even 20 pounds. I've caught them 16, but my friend caught a 20 pounder, so should be fun. Yeah, we got some uh, fat heads in the Magnum Bait Station. It's a warm day out. Yeah, the, the wind's low, it's like 25 degrees. One rod a piece. Got the nets for this. We're actually going to grab one of the ice fishing sleds and drag everything out there. We're at the um, like little air landing strip for uh, RC airplanes. Uh, this is one of the best access points so you can get up as far as you can legally. But before we get into the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification so you know when our videos upload. <laughs> All right, we are getting ready to go. Well, we are ready to go. And the setup we usually use up here is uh, a number two octopus hook, uh, gamagatsu, and then gamagatsu swivel as well. And then just a bell weight, something to keep your whole rig kind of skipping along the bottom so it doesn't get hung up because there is some rocks down there. But other than that, it's pretty simple. And then we just use fat heads. We used to use suckers, but they would get kind of expensive because you would catch so many fish. And you could just catch the same amount and the same size on little fat heads. And it's three bucks, four bucks to get a scoop. Yeah. Grant had to make a quick pit stop here. Yeah, to... the uh, rope came off one of the clips. So we jimmy rigged it, made it work. Um... Found some bait on the ground. Oh, we found some suckers. This is the holy grail. What we'll do is the water's warm, we'll stick it in there, let it melt, and then we have catfish bait. Yeah, Hunter caught a 16 pound 33 inch one here like two years ago. Or maybe last year was monster. Weather's super nice. I got a good handful, that should be plenty. The, the smallmouth are so hungry here, they'll even hit cut pieces of sucker. Dead bait. So the spot we want to get to is no trespassing. The uh, power lines are right over there. But we're at this little boat launch here, which is still plenty good. And then we can walk up in the water a little bit farther if we choose to. There's a guy up there. You can see he's very good at following directions. Right. Point to him. He's right there. I don't know. He must have walked in the water all the way up there. But yeah. Water steaming, ice is coming down, fishing should be good. We talked to a couple other guys and they caught two fish, but they're using artificial, so using live bait, we should have better luck. It's like 25 degrees out right now, but obviously the fish are biting. So to stop this fish from freezing, just because it is below 32 degrees, I'm gonna keep them in the Frayville Trophy Hall, which has a rubber coated mesh netting material, which is gonna protect his slime coat, but also keeping the fish in the water ensures that he's not going to freeze up. So we bypassed the uh, no trespassing sign and just walked in the water just because there's and six other it. people up here. The thing is we did it legally. You can walk in the water te technically because it's not owned by anybody. And uh, the reason why they're so um, protective up here of the power plant property is if somebody were to alter that or mess with it, I don't know how, but ever since 9-11, you can't go anywhere near power plants. So I've talked to old timers. They said you could, back in the day before 9-11, you could just drive right up to the, the the water outage and just not anymore. You can't do that. So we need to walk, no big deal. But as long as you do it legally, you're fine. Yeah. Grant's hooked up. I got a good one right here. Oh, he oh. just jumped. Oh yeah. Oh. He's putting in the work. Man, that is a big, big smallmouth. 
lots of line out here. Look at that fish. Not a super fat fish, but definitely a good fighting fish. Look at that release there. Right. is on fire. I don't know if it's big or just fighting hard. These smallmouth up here are just brute river bass. Not a, not a long fish, but definitely a stout one. Just hooked there right in the corner. Literally a true football. Look how fat that thing is. Here, I'll get the, uh, just release it right now. Hunter finally hooked up. Nice. I think. Oh, he was far out. He's not even that big. It's hard to say because they get that current. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to grab the hook and turn it. And then it'll fall off. Just like that. I have a, uh, I upgraded to a one ounce weight just because they were, uh, it was drifting a little too fast. There's a lot of turbulence, but. He's one step below a boat anchor. The, the water is kind of cold right now, even for the outage. Usually it's, it comes out at 80 degrees, and now it seems like it's in the 50s, so they're not super aggressive, but we're still catching some fish. Oh, first catfish! Not even that big, but first catfish. Oh, that's why he was fighting so hard. It made it look like, look at, grab him with the mitts. I hate grabbing catfish. As you can see. Yeah. Lucky new for spikes. Alright, so they are in the river. You can see. <coughs> Barely hooked. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones, like two or four times, five times the size of this one. Hunter's hooked up with something big. Oh. What is this? Pike or dogfish? I don't even know. Pike walleye? Musky? No. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, nice. It's multi-species action. Yeah. That was on a jig. I switched over to a jig. And, uh... Just because I was too lazy of tying them up again. Oh, sweet. Oh, the nice. famous rips and lips drop it. There we go. Cool. That's a good four pounder. He's got the fish monkey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop the gloves in the water. Nice. He fought good though. Ooh. Not very big, but... Oh, doubles! Oh! <laughs> I got this camera going here. Oh! Oh, right there! I just lost one. Lost our first double. Nothing huge. We've been struggling all day. I think they have the uh, the water turned up because usually they're hot and heavy, but now they're, you have to work for them. Today it's 12 degrees, and it's your hands. As soon as they get wet, they get cold. But the benefit to these gloves, these are called the woolly gloves. They made they're made by Fish Monkey, a new company. And since these ones are wool, even though they may get wet, or my hands get wet, wool is an insulative material when wet. So that's super cool. And I've noticed, I've been telling Grant this, the dexterity in these, I can hook minnows without taking my gloves off, and I can fish all day. I haven't really taken them off. And they're just all around good gloves. I, Grant has been trying the half finger woolies, and these are the full fingers. He likes the half finger, I like the full finger, so check them out. They're made by Fish Monkey. Packing up and uh, going down to the park. Monticipi, that's the name of the park. It's just, we, I, I think this area got kind of beat up before we showed up and I think we're fishing on a Monday. And I think all weekend it got beat up because it was a nice weekend. So we're gonna jump down there and see if we can get one, maybe two more fish for you guys and then head out because it's, sun's going down and it's getting cold. 
All right, we decided not to head to the park just because we, um, it's so cold. We struggled today so much. Caught some good fish. We were doing the, the best out of the few people we talked to and we've only caught like 10. And we were using live bait. Nobody else was using live bait. And it was just a grind today. The, the water temp was uh, colder coming out of that plant. It, like I said, it should be 80 degrees. It's like, it feels like 55, 60, which they can still bite, but we didn't, we didn't get any fish, any tanks, I should say, but it was yeah. still a fun day. I haven't been here in like a year, so couldn't complain. We're probably gonna wait it out for another couple weeks. We're gonna come up to uh, the horseshoe chain and try to fish for some catfish next week through the ice. We just wanted a break from ice fishing to uh, film some open water content, which is what we kind of do every year. Uh, just to give everyone a break because not everyone in the United States is ice fishing right now So it's nice for other people to watch some open water content and one more thing when before we go up to uh, Horseshoe tell us what you want us to we're gonna do a catch and cook catfish cat uh, tell us what style of uh, Recipe you want like hush puppies hush puppies. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, yeah hush puppies idea. fried baked whatever you want you put in the comments and then we'll try to do deliver that yeah so don't forget to give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so you know when our videos upload we're shooting for a video a week uh stick with us thanks for watching and we'll catch everyone in the next video